Hi dear, today we're going to read a book titled Mommy Sayang. This is a very special book sent to me from the United States of America. Mommy Sayang by Rosanna Sullivan. In a small village, a kampong past the rice paddy fields. Filled with chicks and chickens. And cats and kittens. lived little Alia and her dear mommy, Mommy Saya. Five times a day, Mommy Saya prayed while Alia lay close by her side. Together, chores were never a bore. Whether watering the red hibiscus flowers or stirring up the spiciest recipes. At meals with family and friends, Alia watched the dance of dishes from her seat on mommy's lap. In the evenings, Aria would lie under the mosquito net, listening to mommy Sayang's stories. Before drifting off to sleep, Alia would ask, Mommy Sayang, will you always be by my side? Insha'Allah, Alia Sayang, I will always be by your side. Mommy would reply with a kiss on Alia's forehead. In Aliyah's favorite dream, she and Mommy tumbled together among endless fields of flowers. With a whoosh of their magic power, out would pop an enormous high viscous flowers under the shape of the red Paddles, they would munch on crispy curry puffs. Until the dream flickered and faded to a new tomorrow. One day, Mommy Sayang was not feeling okay. Alia waited and waited. And waited. But mommy still was not better. Come join us for a walk, Aliyah's aunties would say. But she refused. Aliyah only wanted mommy. So Aliyah sat alone day after day, wrapped tightly in mommy's sarong.
One morning, the meal of a kitten made Aliya look up. There in a pot was a red high hibiscus, almost as big as the one in her dream. The flower gave her an idea. Skipping up steps and hopping down the hall, Alia climbed onto Mami Sayang's bed. Alia gently placed the flower in Mami's hands, kissed her forehead, and said, "Mami Sayang, insha Allah, I will always be by your side." And little by little, with Aliyah's help, Mommy fell better. The end.